Tahoe? What? He's gonna blow up the nuclear plant. games you've won, how many Pro Bowl rings you have on your fingers. A con's a con. A criminal is a criminal. Like they say, heaven's full of heroes, and <laughs> Draven ain't getting well, in. maybe he should. Have you looked back on the Fuse's stat sheets lately? He was the Jordan linebackers. Was, being the key and operative word. Tyler C. Draven's played his last game. Rumor has it he was into experimental designer steroids based on his own DNA. Drain ranks stop the watch Draven these days. I have no idea where he's going. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing Draven's headed off to, uh, to Tahoe or something like that. That's where we're headed. Look, I'm, this is this is front page, man. Top story. It's gonna move completely viral on the web. People are gonna freak out. Suspended from the league. The Fuse has done every drug under the sun. He went from the main stage to the side show to the freak show. Draven can't possibly have anyone rooting for him now. Hey, then I must be his last fan alive, Terry. No, I'd say you are. Now that... You know, you're gonna have to start paying me a lot more money, you know that? All right, you got the only network that's got the number one Draven expert in the world. You remember that. The man's a criminal. Draven looking for Tyler Draven, the washed up former linebacker. His talent for trouble off the field outweighs any skills he had as a player. I don't, I, I don't, I don't care. Look, this is my job, not your job. Just let me do my thing, all right? I'll send you the bill. I'll talk to you later. Tell me what it's like to know that you're never ever gonna play again, huh? Come on, come on, come on. Well, well, what's it like to know that you're under house arrest and yet have a house anywhere to be seen, huh? You wanna know what it's like? Do you wanna know what it's like? I'll tell you what it's like. <laughs> please, please, I'm sorry. I am sorry. Please stop. Please, please. leave me alone, okay? Come on, come on. Please. I'm sorry. I'm stop. Sorry. Leave me alone, I'm sorry. Did you ever listen when I said that, Timmons? Ever? Whoa, whoa, Did you whoa, ever whoa, listen? Whoa, 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 Draven, relax. Relax, okay, I'm just doing my job, so. Relax. Why don't you relax? Don't tell me to relax. Whoa. Put the phone down. Now! Whoa, Draven, Draven, look. Hey, buddy, you did this to yourself, man, not me. Come on, come on, look. I, I, if it wasn't for me, nobody would be talking about you, right? <laughs> ah! 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 Ask me a question. Ask me a question! You go through my garbage, you follow me in the bathrooms. So now here's your chance. Ask me the damn question. Ask me the question! Ask me! Question! Ask me the question! Freeze, Draven! Freeze, Draven! Back away slowly! Hands where I can see them! Hands in the air! Do it now! I don't want to shoot you, Mr. Draven! Get your hands on the car! Do it! 
Hands on the car, Mr. Draven. Do it now! I just made you famous. Ah! I hereby notify you that you have the right to remain silent and are not required to make any statement unless you want to do so voluntarily. Anything you say will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to consult with your attorney and to have him present with you. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you. Mr. Draven, is it that you don't know the difference between right and wrong, or is it just that you don't really care? We call the special night session just for you. You've been given every chance. Some might say, no, let me rephrase that. I am saying too many chances. I mean, this is way past three strikes. Before your better understanding of fourth down, and why have you been given such opportunity? Well, I'll tell you this. Celebrity or not, in my court, there is no preferential treatment. There's only treatment, sir. And as part of this treatment, you will remain in our custody until a federal agent can arrive and escort you to federal court. Welcome to Cedar Hills, Mr. Draven. second floor. Captain, right. ca Captain Carnap, boy, your, yeah. your chief sure picked a hell of a week to go fishing, huh? Yeah, when the coconut are biting, you gotta go. I got you, Captain, Captain Carnahan. Could anyone have escaped? Could Draven be out there? Not alive. What about Arson? Maybe. I saw a possible ignition point in Charlie Delta's side. No, I just checked that, Captain. No sign of Arson. Excuse me. No chart up either. Point of origin's inside. Is it secure to enter? Yep. Obviously a very tense and dangerous situation here at the jailhouse. As you heard the captain say, it appears that there are no survivors. If that being the case, it would most certainly be a sad and dramatic ending to disgraced former linebacker Tyler Draven. This is Tim Timmons reporting.
Beautiful. Ignition. Watch the sharps, guys. Don't need anybody else in the hospital. What do you got? Isn't there an out-of-control campfire you should be investigating somewhere, little Miss Fire Inspector? It was quick, but no accelerant. You can follow the burn line directly to the fuse box. This place was up to code. I checked it myself. Yeah? How many times? And when did you last check it, Dan? Casualties? Yeah. Body count is two guards. Dispatch receptionist is in the hospital. Gladys? Critical. I'll check in on her later. Yeah. Breaker box confirms it. Here's your point of origin. Hey, didn't they bring that football player in here? Tyler Draven, yeah. We haven't found a body yet, though. If you're in hell, keep going, Draven. I'm here to escort Tyler Draven out of this. What do you call this place again? Cedar oh. Hill. Uh huh. Did you find him yet? Body? Ashes? Not yet, but my men are on it. Good quiet ride home. Give me a minute. Uh huh. Go ahead. I need to know if Draven is the only man in here when the car on fire. And where is home? Hell of a long way from here. Well, here, it's a closed fire investigation crime scene. So you may actually be a little bit more comfortable waiting outside while we mop up in here. Oh, I think I'll be OK right here. OK, actually, no, you won't. See, this scene isn't secured yet. Mr. Federal investigator Lee Cooper and the federal in there means wherever I choose the steps in my jurisdiction. See this? My jurisdiction. My jurisdiction. Very smooth. Fancy footwork for some fancy shoes. He the chief? Nope. You're the chief? No. Ava Williams, fire investigator for the Tri-County area. The chief is on a week-long fishing trip and unreachable. Of course. Well, hey, when the coconut are biting, you gotta go. Coconut is a fish, right? One of the best. Well, step wherever you want. Don't let me get in your way. I need help. I found him. He has a pulse. The fuse. Fuse? I'd say he's well lit. Ambulance to the front entrance. Victim's got burns on 90% of his body. Miss Williams, pleasure. Didn't your mama tell you not to play with fire? Mom's dead. Oh, sorry. It's okay. We didn't kill her. So we're square. Sorry, I'm a little Socially tired. inept, I noticed. Hang on. Hi, Natalie. Is it okay if I go see Gladys? Well, let me check the status of her condition. Okay, great. Thanks. Here. Joe Bob's Fins and Eats? Yeah, it's our bowling alley. Also happens to be Cedar Hill's finest dining establishment. Wow. Note to self, get out of one horse town ASAP. We actually have two horses. Three if you include Molly the mule. And you might want to take your nicotine habit outside. Hospital staff is still operating under the delusion that smoking leads to lung cancer. Square? <coughs> Thanks. I'm actually trying to quit. I don't refill it on purpose. Really? Yeah. They have patches for that, you know. Tried. I'm just rolling around the cigarette and smoking too. 
Well, it's a good thing to know you're not an addictive personality. Mm. Ava, it's gonna be okay, but you're gonna have to gown up. Okay. And no flowers. Oh. Okay, well, you keep them then. Thanks. Okay. How's Mr. Draven? <clears throat> Still extra crispy. Well, what are his chances? Mm -hmm. You don't really care, do you? Should I? It's easier to take a moment in the box. It's less small talk. It was nice to meet you. Miss Williams, I was a fan, an avid one. I followed his career. I could give you all kinds of stats, but I don't want to bore you. And then I realized, bing, this guy's a sociopath, a pampered psychotic with more assault charges than championships. You know what? Let me tell you something. A beast who beats his wife doesn't get any get well cards from me, okay? Okay. Thank you. Sure. Bitch, 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 moan, moan, moan. You gotta, you gotta take control. That's what you gotta do. Is this it? God, what a dump. But like, that's my whole point, right? It's decisions. Decisions, not circumstances determine destiny. You know, you, 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 you understand the power, the power of a decision. You can be acted upon immediately with, with absolute conviction, then you can, you can own the world. I mean, basically, it's, it's like whatever boundaries that you... Let's, let's roll. You ready? Whatever, yeah. whatever boundaries you set for yourself five, are based entirely four, on your own three, limits. You know what I'm saying? Two. So, Addy, in your opinion, what mindset was Mr. Draven in when he came into your gas station? Uh, I don't know. Tired? Um, annoyed. Something was bothering him. No, no, no. Cut. Can we just cut it, please? Um, I don't think you're entirely getting it. <laughs> Can we get uh, makeup in here? Oh, uh, in here, please. Okay, I need no, no, it's, it's not for you, darling. Right. Um, listen, we're gonna try this again. I'm gonna roll the cameras one more time, okay? And I'm gonna ask you the same question in the same way. Only this time, I need you more. <laughs> out of you. I need you to thank you. I need you to start using words like crazy, and that uh, that he looked out of control. He could have killed anybody. Okay. I, I I want you to be scared. I want you to to want to see this guy locked away, never to see the light of day again. Okay. And amp up the whole thank you. Amp up the whole Mayberry charm thing. That's a that's a good thing. And remember, okay, I you came to me. I did not come to you. Okay. So we can either do this or not do it. If we're gonna do it, might as well do it properly. Right. So you want me to lie? Or. <laughs> I want you to feel. Mrs. Huseman, I want, look, see, I'm getting nothing from you. And nothing doesn't sell. You're, you're good. You're great. You're going to be great. You are great. Let's, let's roll. Okay, okay, and we're on in five, four, three, two, so in your opinion, Addie, what state of mind was Mr. Draven in when he came into your gas station? <clears throat> uh, looked like he hadn't slept for days. He, he could have killed some, he was crazy. He would have killed anybody because he, he was like, he, he was crazy. He put down like $100 on the, on the desk and it, the gas wasn't that much. I was like, what do you want? I went over that place twice. It was up to code. You know more than anyone, I wish that was true. Look. Everybody knows you got your cushy job because people felt sorry for you after your father died. But I am not one of those people. I'm getting If anybody that. else walked in here, all textbook and no experience, they would be laughed right out that door. 
I've been watching fires my whole life, Dan. You know that. It's not a watching business, Ava. What exactly is it that I did to you? Excuse me. Hmm. You can read, right? Yes, although I prefer the large type with the pictures. Oh, check out the sign behind you. Oh. Mm. You're a cop, right? Write yourself a ticket. Write yourself a ticket. You have to page Dr. Rudolph. This is important. Tell him he has to attend to Mr. Draven. There's, there's something that's, well, just tell him to get here right away, okay? Simmons coming to you live from Arden Memorial Hospital where disgraced former linebacker Tyler Draven leapt from the second story window to freedom below. Now the information is coming in just in small bits and pieces, but it is assumed that at that point Draven came across the street where you'll see a car right here exploded in a massive ball of fire and smoke. Now we have no idea how. I know what I saw. Yeah, reasonably speaking, you saw a car explode. And reasonably yeah. speaking, cars just don't explode all by themselves. No, they don't. So let's walk it through. All right. Mm -hmm. So Draven jumps out of the second floor window, yeah. runs across the street, and you show up just as the car is exploding, yes? Yes. So could he have thrown something? I mean, a quarter stick of dynamite would do it. That he got from the corner store? Kids buy them for Halloween and the 4th of July. The guy was guarded, restrained, and suffering from third degree burns. Should I go on? I mean, God, the mosquitoes here are the size of dogs. Yeah, you should see our dogs. OK, all right then, four things. Four things? Yeah, if it's spontaneous combustion, you need four things. You think this thing exploded on its own? Well, isn't that what you're insinuating? <coughs> I don't know what I'm insinuating. I'm just telling you what I saw. One, a substance with a relatively low ignition point begins to release heat, which can occur in many ways, such as pyrolysis, chemical decomposition. Which leads to? Two, the heat is unable to escape. 
Three, if the temperature of the material rises above the ignition point, it produces an exothermic reaction, which is the release of energy in the form of heat. And then four, if there is oxygen present, then... Five, fourth of July. Yes, only one problem. Which is? Well, combustion like this usually happens in haystacks that have fermented, or I've seen grain dust in a hot metal silo explode the thing completely. Coal would do it, too. But I don't see anything. Wait, it makes sense. The, the grain dust in the engine, the engine gets hot. No, 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 no. It's got to be compartmentalized. Otherwise, every car in town would be blowing up. Besides, you need more than a few tons of grain dust to reach the upper flammable limit. So you're saying we're screwed? Yeah, but more politely. You know, you're like watching a textbook read itself. You know, knowledge is power. That was a compliment. Really? Yep. Any comment, officers? Uh, Any no. Any information at all? Nope. Nope. Obviously. The investigation is ongoing in an evening that has turned out to be most dangerous and deadly. This is Tim Timmons reporting live from Arden Memorial Hospital. Clearly, we're going to have to think out of the box here. Well, look, people use reason to solve problems. That's rule one in fire investigation. Well, I agree with you. It's rule one in any investigation. All I'm saying is that in my line of work, taking too much time to use reason in a crisis situation often gets people killed. Well, yeah, but in my line of work, not taking enough time means you miss details and therefore don't find the logical explanation. And what if there isn't a logical explanation? Well, it probably means you haven't looked hard enough. So perspiration leads to inspiration? Something like that, yeah. I remember the days when two young, attractive people bantered. It was funny. <laughs> you know, I'm not really interested in playing catch up to the two of you. And I also don't think you've examined the possibilities here, either. Like what? Well, that he's extremely wealthy, extremely famous. He easily could have had an accomplice come in and help him escape. Like who? It certainly wasn't Natalie Darwin. That woman's been taking her temperature our entire lives. Besides, the room was guarded. I clocked everyone in and out with a cup. Look at these restraints. They've been burned. That's not how you would free someone. You would either just untie them or cut them loose. Now, what I don't get, look at the pattern. These restraints are burned from the inside out. That means Draven's skin would have had to have been on fire as he ripped upward. Oh, come on, you don't believe that. That is impossible. So, Draven's a wife beater and an arsonist. No, he's a wife beater and a magician. Where Tyler Draven has escaped. We do know that Mr. Draven was not a What are you guys doing? Give that back to him. They're your grandchildren. You could help out. Look, I am seriously going to ground you if you keep this up. so fast. Called the big ball of fire in the sky. Huh. Seemed a little odd. Did you catch the name in the mailbox? You guys have names on mailboxes out here? Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, it's coincidental and completely circumstantial, but Huseman. Huseman. Guest attendant to the stars. Yeah. Did you see her interview? Yes, I did. Come on. Still could be an accident. There are no accidents. I still can't believe you guys have names on mailboxes out here. I think it's your cologne. Oh, yeah? The body's totally burned. It's like the car fire, right? No. God, poor Addie. This beauty used propane as a fuel accelerant. When the pilot light of a gas barbecue fails to ignite the gas jets properly, it's easy for you to inhale the gas. Now, when the match finally does light, sometimes a trail of flame will blaze its way into your nose and mouth filling your lungs with fire, and you begin to suffocate. And every breath of oxygen you take in feeds those flames 
and you literally burn from the inside out. Tyler Draven? No. Tyler the Fuse Draven? No one's gonna believe this! My kids are gonna freak! Wait, what? You okay, man? Dense speed field transmission? What? Yeah, hell yeah, 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 yeah. So then when it goes, it goes. I mean, do you, do you need a ride? Well, hop on, bro. Let's do it up. Let's. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I, 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 look, I'll call you a cab. I have broken every story there is, was, and ever will be on Tyler Draven. You understand that? People use the word Draven, my name follows, so I strongly recommend that you get me the raise that I'm asking for. You understand that? Agent Cooper. What? Uh, yeah, hi. What? Best Italian food in Cedar Hills? Yep. It's the only Italian in Cedar Hills. So you like bowling? I don't know. I never bowled. What? You're looking at me like a cultural anthropologist, Miss Williams. Well, I just haven't met anyone who's never bowled before. Oh, now you have. Oh, oh we should order. The kitchen's closing at 15. OK. Let's see. Smothered chicken fried steak, okra, and mashed potatoes. What can I tell you? Joe Bob's got a pretty eclectic menu. I'll stick with the Italian. Good call. Can we get two slices? Hey, how did you know where to film? Um, it's the only motel in town. Ah, uh, of course. Looks like it's getting to be quite the media zoo over there. Thanks for the invite. Oh, uh, no problem. I thought I'd be diving with the motel vending machine. Well, you know, it's my way of apologizing in case I came across as a little bit too textbook today. I keep forgetting that not everybody finds friendships as fascinating as I do. No apology needed. Pretty impressive. Yeah. Thank you. I guess I have pretty big shoes to fill with the department. My father was a firefighter here in Cedar Hills. Hmm, He's retired? Um, no, actually, he died. Uh, fighting a fire two years ago. 24th of last month, actually. I'm sorry. Thanks. I'm OK. I just miss him. Yeah, yeah. I don't really talk about it very much. I guess because um, vulnerability isn't exactly my comfort zone. Yeah. <laughs> so are all feds like you? What's like me? Um, well, let me see. Efficient? Stylish. You wear cufflinks. And I bet they match your belt, don't they? I don't really think that matters. Of course it does. They match. Judge Bogner. Mr. Timmons. Yes? Mr. Timmons. Law is the embodiment of the moral sentiment of the people. It's reason free from passion. Yes? 
I stand by my decision, and yes, you can continue to quote me on Draven's case. If you did your homework, you'd know it's an election year, Mr. Timmons. Thank you, idiot. have yet to comment on whether these fires are in fact related to Draven, but the police are urging the public not to come into contact with him. Guess I won't be driving out in the morning. It's a good call. Lately, the vehicles around this town don't seem to be all that reliable anyway. Nope. You really think it's Draven, don't you? Yep. yep. Give a second, would you? I need to be in on this. I am in charge until the chief gets back. It's a crime scene, federal jurisdiction. Well, it's a fire scene in my backyard. You know what? I'll fill you in later. Cab Dan over there, did you, uh, did you get his promotion or did you dump him? <laughs> oh, a little from column A, a little from column D. Oh, God, I've got to get some bug spray. Well, that's not going to work on Dan. He's human. Uh-huh. Just kidding. What? Here. Thanks. Ah, no problem. I buy it by the caseload in the wintertime when it's on sale. You want to hear something weird? Ooh, 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 me first, me first, me first. Trucker in the hospital? Mm-hmm. Check with the DMV. It's his rig. Hmm. And he's got a nasty little burn mark on his neck. Okay, my turn for weird. There was no body found in the driver's seat. The driver would have had way more than a burn mark on his neck. He wouldn't have walked away from this. Well, the trucker said he was carjacked earlier today by none other than... Draven. Yes. Also... Burn on the side of his neck. Mm -hmm. It's in the shape of a handprint. And I don't need to call in some diaper wearing forensic shut and tell me whose print that was. So, Draven survived two explosions in the last 24 hours. Yes. Those are good odds this close to Tahoe. I think we have a little boy who likes to play with matches. And we have a little boy who is a match. What? Do you know anything about pyrophoric materials? OK, quick science lesson. The element sodium, that chunk of salt inside the blast box, is a type of pyrophoric material. Now, pyrophoric substances have an auto-ignition point below room temperature and often require mere contact with air or water in order to spontaneously ignite. Yeah, I have no idea what you just said. All right. Watch and learn. Right. Now, without any oxygen, this flame will burn itself out. But imagine this in the open air. You could easily... Blow up a car. Yes. And Draven would have gotten this in the hospital? Maybe. That maybe sounds like a polite no. Maybe. What are you saying? You work out? Daily. You ever taste your own sweat? Not sure how to answer that. What does sweat taste like? Water. Salt. And salt is? Sodium. So you're saying Draven can create explosions by sprinting? You don't have to work out to perspire. You're perspiring right now. Mm. Even the slightest change in temperature or stress can cause you to perspire even more. Come here. Imagine this, but on fire. Got it. Right, got it. Good. Here, want this? Yeah, thanks. So, um, <clears throat> so fugitive on the lamb could easily. Right. Well, what, what what's here for him to stick around for? Um, uh, Addie Huseman, gas attendant who sold the store to the tabloids, Judge Bogner, exploiting a celebrity to secure his own election next year. So, do we go on the assumption that there's someone else? Yeah.
hotel right now. We're gonna need backup. Hi, Jennifer. Ava Williams. Put me through to Timmins' room. Is he here? If I get my camera woman, can you can you do that again? Come on in. Come on in. I got a special report coming on at nine. The network's giving me one hour. This is uh, this is big. <laughs> you haven't seen Draven? No. Well, you will. Alpha 1, secure. Alpha 2, secure. Bravo 1. Charlie 1 and 2. All right, sit tight. Unless otherwise directed by me. Then shoot to kill. Stay off the radio, OK? Did a jail cell at once again. He doesn't show. He will. He will. Back at the hospital, you said that Draven wasn't always a sociopath. What made him that way? Alchemy of steroids, abuse, and loss. Back in high school, his mom had to hold down three jobs so he could play ball. The big C at her insides out. Dad's only interested in beating her up. Mom dies a horrible death. Draven goes cold. Let's go, guys. Let's get in there. Let's go now. Stay here. Please. No, please, please. I, I have a what? I was just doing my job. Look, please, I have kids. Okay, please, please, please. Do you believe in God? Well, he doesn't believe in me. Everybody fall back! Get out of here! 
go through him. What? Go through him, over him, just run him down. Yes, Your Honor, the chief is still out of town. What's well, a coconut? What? Why me? What? Well, yeah, he's. Uh, okay, well, until he gets back? All right, you have my word. I will coordinate with the police and keep you posted. Bye. You take it the mayor puts you in charge? Something like that. Woo, party time. Congratulations. Thanks. What do you want me to see? Well, I think I figured out how Dragon became the human torch. Mm. What is it? Blood. Dravens? Mm-hmm. Do you remember that sodium experiment I showed you? <laughs> yeah, I haven't put salt in my food since. Well, that was the first piece of the puzzle that explained how was pyrogenesis worked, but not why. And I bet you're just the woman to explain it. Yes. His blood chemistry has been altered by the DNA-based designer steroids he's been taking. Hmm. Now, water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit, right? Yep. So. If you superheat our blood, we're toast. But look what happens when you heat up his. Check it out. His tissue can rebuild itself at an exponential rate. That's how he was able to go from having third degree burns to baby skin. Now I figure this process is raising his internal temperature to who knows how high. And that means? It means fire doesn't burn him and his cells can regenerate faster than they can be destroyed. It's just sad day when a bullet won't work. Bullets never stopped at fire. Water usually does, except, except in, in this, this case. case. That explains why the sprinkles of the motel didn't work. Mm. Whether you serve cold or hot, I'm not leaving without my prisoner. So where's he going? Logging Road 49, where's that lead? Dead ends up at the materials yard, right about there. And what's all this behind those hills? Well, they're side roads. They lead to Route 89, just past the nuclear plant. It's like Tahoe. Yeah, yeah, Tahoe's right through there. Bingo. Bigger stage, bigger show, where the has-beens go to make a name for themselves. Right. Right, the media's been running him, so now he's going to run the hell out of the media. And on a world stage. We've got to come up with something that's going to smother his flame. What? 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 I'm beginning to know that look. It's called the fire triangle. It's basic firefighting 101. Fire needs three things, heat, fuel, and oxygen. Without oxygen, a fire can't begin or continue. So that's it. Hang on. Get the men together in 10 minutes in the classroom. I'm going to want to go over forest fire procedure. There's a number for an outfit outside of Rawlings, smoke jumpers. I'm going to need that. Directory's in the office. So let me get this right. So we're going to suck the oxygen out of the air. Well, in a manner of speaking, it's textbook. You remove the oxygen. Remove the fuse. Ah, first prize, we don't die. Well, I'm not exactly ready to hold him down while you put a pillow over his face. He's a pretty big boy. What if the pillow is 10 tons of sand? Wish me luck. Good luck. Have you lost your mind? We know the direction Draven headed out of town runs parallel to Logging Road 49. We can get the whole crew to the materials yard ahead of him. He has to go through there to get to Route 89. Draven is a killer. Let the police deal with him. We'll deal with the fires. Draven is the fire. Dan, you saw what he did to those police. Conventional methods are not going to work. Those were people that we have known our entire lives. I know that. Ava, That's... you are a fire inspector, and you are not qualified to make this call. Actually, I spoke to the mayor this morning, and he asked me to coordinate efforts. Well, I didn't know that. But what I do know 
is that I'm in charge of this fire hall while the chief is gone, and I'm responsible for the lives of the men that serve here. It's a trust I don't take lightly, so I'm not going to put them into jeopardy. What if they didn't come back? What would I tell their loved ones? The same thing you told my mother. Bad news? Yeah. So we go to plan B. There is no plan B. Small problem, but it'll be better than plan A when we figure it out. <sighs> Wait a minute. What? What time is it? Are we going somewhere specific? Yeah, plan B. You don't mind driving, do you? Plan B? Yeah, Jennifer, I'm here. They're still there? Great. So what's on the itinerary today? Terrell's yard, logging road 49. No, Cedar Falls Motel. Seatbelts. Yeah, okay. Hey, you want a story? Draven regularly used his wife as a punching bag in front of their three-year-old. She'd have reconstructive surgery twice, once in the nose, chin, and cheekbones. Something he learned from his dad before he went AWOL. Sounds like you really know this guy. Imagine being that kid. Yeah. Seeing brutality day and night, never knowing what's gonna happen, or to you. I haven't feeling safe in your own house. So is this professional or personal with you? I know Dad like him. But hey, you can only get beat down so many times before you beat back, right? I remember hearing Draven say in an interview that he went into every game putting his dad's face in every player of the opposing team. Gotta do the same thing. Every bust is just a chain-smoking, whiskey-drinking son of a bitch who likes to spend Saturday nights knocking your teeth in. Moving on to your mom. I'm sorry. But it's a hell of a motivator. Uh, turn up ahead here. Do you see what I mean? 49 ends here. Halbert Creek is just over there. Right. It leads to Route 89. He has to come through here. <clears throat> I feel it too. Feel what? We're being hunted. We're the hunters. Be careful. Okay, we go live in five, four, three, two. Yes, my name's Agent Lee Cooper. I... No, no, in, in my own opinion, Draven's a coward, just like he was on the field, just like he was when he beat his wife. 
Patricia. Sand glass. What? He's gonna blow up the nuclear plant. Did you spot him? I couldn't see him, but I bet you're right. He's headed toward the nuclear plant. That's not good. Yeah. Neither is the fact that he can create fireballs with his hands now. Wonderful. All right, let's go. Ah! Ah! Wait a minute, let me look at that. Caught a shard. Yes, you did. All right. <clears throat> you ready? What? You gonna pull it out? Yeah, if you walk on that, you could sever an artery. You can't leave it in. I suppose not. You know, squeamish, are you? Nope. You ready? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, on the count of three. All right, ready? Okay, ready? One. No! What happened to two and three? Oh, ah! I need a bandage. Bandage, bandage. Bandage, here. What, seriously? Nobody carries these anymore. Uh, believe me, it's fascist David. It's coming back. 
Oh, wow. Okay, I'm gonna need a tourniquet, so give me your belt. Smart. They teach you first aid in fire inspector school? Nope, Girl Scouts. Make some of that cookies. <sighs> okay, let's go get him. No, I can't. What? What are you talking about? Uh, two people are dead because of me, and I killed them, and I can't. I... No, Draven killed them. Draven killed them. Look, if I hadn't come up with that stupid scheme, they'd still be alive. Maybe. But not doing anything is not an alternative. It's a signed death warrant for everyone within a 200-mile radius. Then there will be blood on your hands. OK. Come on. Let's go get him. He can't be at the nuclear plant already. You tell your listeners that I sacrificed my family, my life, my body every night out there for you, for your entertainment, for you to live out your failed dreams. Your system made my dad. Your system killed my mom, and your system ate me alive. Every night you wanted blood, and you got it. But guess what? Now it's your turn, and your children's, and your children's children! Yeah! He's getting angrier. Yeah, and hotter. Do you see the way the burns are going up his arm? Yeah, I was thinking maybe his body's starting to break down. Hey, hello. Yeah, this is Bob Burns. How can I help you? My name's Lee Cooper. I'm a federal investigator. I'm sure you've heard about Tyler Draven and everything that's happened in Cedar Hills, right? OK, good, because he's coming for you. He's coming straight to you. You got to shut all your systems down. <laughs> You're asking me to power down an entire nuclear plant? Yes. Look, man, this isn't Three Mile or even Chernobyl. This is Hiroshima and Nagasaki in the same location, in the same day. Oh, I am sorry, sir, but a reactor just doesn't have a switch you can flip on and off at will. Look, I know how long a four-second scram takes. Just snap your fingers four times, and it'll be shut down. I'm sorry, sir, but a random call from an unsecured cell phone is not exactly official permission to shut down a nuclear core. And call the agency, okay? Check my credentials. Lee Cooper. Look, I'm not warning of you of possible security risks. This is happening right now, okay? This is what you run drills for. Huh? Hello? 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 Call Red. Scram. Immediately, we're shutting it down. Exterior tri-dome controls, full emergency procedures right now. Stat, Tim, come on, I need you. Let's go. Northgate, implement lockdown. Roger, Northgate. Lockdown procedures implementing. Out. You must take extreme care. Where the hell are you? About a mile from the nuclear plant. Well, I'm putting out the last of a car fire. A news van, to be exact. Charred remains of two bodies inside, but you probably already knew that. Yeah, Timmons, camerawoman and boom guy. But listen, Dan, I need you to... Do you have any idea how much trouble you're in? I can explain later, Dan, I... Dan, listen. Likely ...to get your ass booted off the force, but you are probably gonna do jail time for this, Ava. Dan, listen to me. This is not Dan. gonna go away. Dan, shut up and listen to me! Federal Agent Cooper and I are tracking Draven. He's on his way to blow up the nuclear plant and kill everyone! And I need you to get a hold of the guard, call the mayor. They need to execute a complete evacuation of everything within a 50-mile radius. You got that? Yeah, I got it. Good. When this is all over, you can bring whatever charges against me you want. If I'm still alive, I won't dispute them. 
All right, I'll start the calls. Neva, be careful. I just got off the phone with the mayor, but you're going to have to follow up on that one. You can expect a call from a General Oppenheimer of the Guard. Got it, Dan. OK? All right, I'm on it. Well, stay on it and keep me posted. Guys, one of our brothers is in trouble, needs our help. It's a dangerous situation, possibly deadly. Who's in? Commencing four second scram on Dome Alpha on three, two, one. Dome A plus. Commencing four second scram on Dome Bravo. Yes, Mr. Mayor, a complete evacuation. State of emergency for both California and Nevada. It's a desperate situation, sir. All right. Oh, oh, watch your side. Dodge your side. Here we go. Almost at the center. On three, two, one. Valve be open. Don't be plumbing. Four seconds. Scram commencing. Oh, 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 oh. Bravo team, where are you? Stay on people. Stay on people. Stay on people. They're dead. They're all dead. He killed them. He killed them all. Who's dead? A security detail. They're all dead. Did you get the reactor shut down? Oh, hold, hold a moment. On three, two, one. Yes. Yes, we did it. It worked. It worked. Core is cooling. OK. They're shut down. What about the gunshots? Draven's there. All right. Listen, I've done inspections inside. After Chernobyl, I'll active nuclear facilities to precautions in case of a fire inside the car itself. So not only can the core shut down, we can suck all the oxygen out, make it completely airtight. Nothing gets out. No air, no water. No fire. <laughs>
inside. Oh god. We have to go, quick! Cooper here. Now where are you? We're here, we're just outside. He's inside! He got inside! Get yourself someplace safe. We'll get in. Draven's inside! That's how we did it. Using a dead guard as a card holder. You spoke to on the phone. Yeah, okay. Come on, down this way. We gotta hurry. We're gonna need your O2 override. Now, you don't understand. He's reheating the entire core. Which is precisely why we need to suck the oxygen out of the interior core room. Let me show you. The problem is, he's not in the interior core room. Take a look. Here? Yeah. That throws a monkey in the works. Yeah, and from the readings we're getting, we think he can reheat the core from even out there. How long? Well, depending on how fast the core heats, what's your calculation? 10 minutes. Maybe less, but not more. And the O2 override is where? The interior core room. The fans won't help. Unless he's inside the interior core room, we understand that. OK, in my book, this is when I call a wrong ball. Wrong ball? Yeah, it's an old high school football trick. It deals with distraction and. So we're the human distraction? No. I am. You're not. OK. I'm not going to stand by while you offer yourself up as a human sacrifice. This is a negotiation. This is way beyond your field of expertise. I don't care. I'm not letting you go in there alone. It's not your decision. It's federal jurisdiction. Understood? Fine. All right, so if my science is accurate, if it's accurate, every time Draven throws a fireball in the interior core room, it uses oxygen. Right? Yeah, that's right. And if the oxygen levels in the room drop below 40% and he tries to throw a fireball, he may just cook himself from the inside out. Like Eddie. Like Eddie. How many points of entry into the interior core room? I'll show you on the map. We've got two doors. It's the north and south entry doors are right here. North, south. Was there any way to permanently lock it once I've got them in there? Well, no, not really. Oh. Well, can you disable them? Yes. You need to break the locking panels. They're on the right, just inside the door. And then the doors will automatically close. The whole thing will be shut down, tight as a drum. Piece of cake, Eva. So you've only got about a four minute window to get those fans on, okay? I'll keep them occupied. Once the fans are on, wait at the north entry. Oh, yes. This should do the trick. All right? When I lure Draven in, you step in, smash the panel, hightail out of there. Repeat, whatever you do, don't stay in the room. Understood? With protest? Duly noted. Gentlemen, I have to relieve you of these. A good plan is nothing without communication. Here's the hoping Draven extinguishes before I asphyxiate. Plan C is always a charm, Miss Williams. Ejected from the fourth quarter of that ball game and blowing an MVP ring for hitting the ref. <laughs> that must have hurt. That ring was mine. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, but didn't. You know, nobody cares, because in the end, he didn't produce results. <sighs> you just went 
crazy. Guys, it! They screwed me over! It's dropping, Agent Cooper. It's working. You weren't up for it. <laughs> they screwed me over. They all screwed me over. Are my facts right? <laughs> the highest paid player for three seasons running? That's right. You're damn right I was. Your facts are right. Over five sacks a game. Four years running. 170 tackles a year. And that's an average. It's down to C plus two. Whatever you did, it worked. I was the one that put everybody in the seats every Sunday. It was me. The game needed me. Really? C plus three and rising. What about the hit and run? What was her blood alcohol level? You know, she was just a little girl. No! Pathetic. Such potential. Jeez. What happened? You end up a paranoid moron. They do! Four minutes, sir. God help him. Is this how you want to be remembered? I'm gonna be remembered as the guy that fought back!
oxygen. No fire. you have on your fingers. A con's a con, and a criminal's a criminal. With the fuse incinerated in the nuclear plant, this tale is told. Like they say. So you're leaving? The coconut you're biting. You gotta go. Well, at least you made it out malaria-free. That'll be my second entry into my journal. What's the first? Draven's epitaph. What's that? Fire to fire, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Fuses out. Thanks for your help. Bet you can't wait to get back to the city. Yeah. It's a lot quieter there. You ever think of moving to the city? You ever think about moving to the country? Geographically star-crossed? I gotta go. This pack of cigarettes isn't gonna smoke itself. Oh, here. <laughs> Joe Bob's big on point-of-sale merchandising. 
Yeah, he wants to make sure that you never forget a great meal. I won't. Hey, sweet belt. I couldn't find a snow globe. You know, some people might call that sentimental. Be safe, Mr. Cooper. Not likely, Miss Williams. <laughs>